Uh, we're not, you know, preparing to who's starting. We're just preparing to play a, a quarterback that likes to run. Iowa's not worried about who will start a quarterback for Nebraska, but don't be surprised if it's Adrian Martinez. I think Adrian's been playing with little chip on his shoulder. A lot of the defenses, they're taking away a lot of the things that I did last year. How does Nebraska get Wandale Robinson going? And who else will carry the ball? Is this the week Diedrich Mills returns after missing almost the last two games? Nebraska must take care of the football. The Huskers' turnover margin is minus five. Iowa, plus seven. Dude, I think we just have too many turmo- turnovers and too many self-inflicted negatives is what we call, we call sins. Keep an eye out for number 89. That's Oliver Martin. Made two catches for 30 yards last week. This after transferring this season from Iowa, and you'd know he'd love to beat his former mates. I think he's got some confidence. Um, And then, yeah, playing against a school that you used to be at is is a big deal, and I'm sure uh, that's going to help him. Yeah, they're going to try to run it down our throats. They're going to try to out-physical us in all three phases of the game. That's worked especially well the past two seasons. The Hawkeyes averaging almost 250 yards rushing against the Scott Frost-led Huskers. Under Kirk Ferentz, Iowa 67-6 and when rushing for 200 or more yards. And normally, Iowa wins special teams as well. Led by the Big Ten's all-time leader in kick return average, Amir Smith-Marset. The Hawkeyes very dangerous in that third phase. Beat a team like this that's extremely disciplined, you have to make sure that you're just as disciplined and doing everything right. Iowa's a really good team. Uh, it's going to be a black and blue game like it always is against those guys they're gonna make you earn it nebraska is ready scott frost is ready especially coming oh so close in his first two meetings with kirk ferentz and the hawkeye yeah we've played uh, two really competitive games against each other and went down literally went down to the last play in both games so you know that's what you expect in a robbery game i would expect more of that again this week